Hi, my name is Matt. Welcome back to another rant. And my rant today is about combustion. So I was watching a how it's um, how it's made video the other day. Uh, or video, I say video program on the TV. Car engines work by internal combustion, a process that happens in each of the engine cylinders. Air and a drop of gasoline enter the cylinder. The piston moves upward, compressing the mixture. The spark plug ignites the gasoline, causing an explosion that drives the piston downward. And they were talking about, I think it was lawnmower engines or chainsaw engines. And the bird on there, the American voiceover narrator bird, was talking about engines and saying that when you mix in fuel and air and you compress it and there's an explosion and then the power is extracted and then I went, oh, hang about. And it really does my tits in is this. Um, people saying that in an engine it's an explosion. Now, yeah, you could just say it's semantics and all the rest of it or what have you. Shut up. Um, you could say it's that, but it, I don't know, it just really gets on my tits. You know, just, there's them things that just piss you off. Combustion is not an explosion. When you have uh, Semtex, you stick an electrical, electrical charge in it uh, that fires a little debt. Um, a detonator, when that detonator goes off it causes a chain reaction. The chain reaction is generally just under the speed of sound, it's rapid, it's, it is combustion but it's so quick that we call that an explosion. Uh, you know, you usually get some mass massive pressure wave and it's all over in a, you know, a millisecond or so. Engines, it's combustion, um, but not only that is we should be calling it a burn, not an explosion. If you had an explosion in your engine, and there are times when you kind of nearly get an explosion, which is what we call detonation or pre-ignition, it damages components. The um, piston and crankshaft could not withstand an explosion. So here's your piston, and let's just say it's 10 degrees past TDC. If you go bang instantly and release all the energy and whack this piston down, you're going to start shattering stuff. You're going to start breaking stuff. You'd get a sudden jerk and things would fuck up. It's as simple as that. They are not designed to take that amount of force. It is actually a controlled burn. It's a timed burn. You know, that's why you can change your timing. You can change um, when this uh, combustion is initiated. The other thing is as well is that different fuels have different combustion um, or flame speeds. So diesel has a slower flame speed than petrol. Um, and hence why diesels rev at lower RPM. The brilliant thing about diesel is you can go to higher compression ratios and we will do a series about diesel and what have you because it is really, I love diesels. Um, and we'll also talk about why diesels, uh, why there are no real diesel motorcycles and what's the difficulty with designing a diesel motorcycle. But yes, it's not a burn and I've got a video here, well there's a couple of videos online where people have got Briggs and Stratton engines and what have you and they put a um, Perspex or a seat or clear cylinder head on it and you can actually see the wave front, uh, the flame wave front, the flame front um, of the combustion going all the way, travelling all the way through the combustion chamber and you can see there it's very similar to chucking a match on a you know a dribble of petrol or you do a line like in Back to the Future there is a, a, a burn as um, the oxygen and the uh, Petrol compounds, you know, react, um, react and combust with each other. You know, it is a chemical reaction, and it is a burn. Um, the reason why it annoys me that they say explosion is because um, there are a lot of aspects of an engine that are designed to take advantage um, of this burn. The fact of how the um, flame front expands, and that's all to do with combustion chambers and combustion chamber shapes, and so on and so forth. But yeah, check out some of these videos, they're pretty cool, uh, you know, especially when they've got the high speed cameras and the lighting level is uh, properly done. You can actually see this flame front as the flame travels through the combustion chamber, it's really quite cool to see. Alright then, so that's that rant and I'll see you in a bit.